Arizona State comes in with head coach Kenny Dillingham after a 3-9 2023 campaign. Can 2024 be better for them? Let's find out. Good evening, everyone. Welcome into the Voice of College Football. I would like to invite everybody to be sure and hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. We do college football videos nearly every single day. We have live shows just about every single day of the week. Um, and we will always have something that, that you will enjoy. We don't just talk West Virginia football over here. We talk uh, college football in general. And we welcome anybody to ever come on to our live streams, hang out with us, talk some college football, ask some questions, challenge us. Uh, we enjoy that. So anyway, let's talk about Arizona State. Now, Arizona State's coming into the Big 12. Um... Last year went three and nine, won two two games in the uh, Pac-12, two and seven in the Pac. Um, Pac, you know, is no longer. Uh, we're down to a power of fours now, and they're come, they come over to the B-12. Here's what's got me about Arizona State. Um, I know he's hired some new coaches um, recently. I know he hired a tight ends coach, and we hired an offensive line coach, and some other coach. So I think that. Um, they're trying to make some changes as Arizona, at Arizona State. Um, they don't have the most talented roster, obviously, in the Big 12. Um, can they make a bounce back and win more than three games? So here's uh, some stuff that I've noticed about Arizona. I was looking at some stats and stuff here. Let me pull my tablet up here so I can read this and see. Make sure I get them all right. All right, so offensive rank last year, uh, they were 86th in the country. Defensive rank last year, they were 82nd in the country. Not not very good at all on either side of the ball. Uh, if we look at them on their defense against the rush, they were 80th in the country. Defense against the pass, they were 78th in the country. Offensive rushing, they were 96th in the country. And offensive passing, they were 70th in the country. That's absolutely horrible numbers. All right, so, um, so let's take a look at Arizona State's football schedule for 2024. Uh, go game by game and see what games we think they might could win and what games they're going to lose. So let's take a look at that right now. All right, they're starting off August 31st uh, versus Wyoming. Um, look, Wyoming was a nine-win team last year. They're going to be a pretty good team again this year, too. They're, I, I, I'm really, I, I'm going to take Wyoming in this game against you, Arizona State. I, I'm sorry, I realize you're a, a power four uh, team. But I'm going to take Wyoming to beat you. Uh, game one. Uh, game two. Not getting any easier for you. Because now uh, all of a sudden the SEC. Coming in. So now you're going to play Mississippi State. Um, Mississippi State. Obviously not uh, one of the better teams. In the uh, SEC. But. They do have a more talented roster. Than Arizona State. And. I'm going to have to give them a win here. I think I think you're starting off the season 0-2. All right, uh, week three, Texas State. I think you handle Texas State. I think I think that's a win there for you. Uh, so obviously much needed win there, um, and and I have you going one and two so far. All right, um, week four, September 21st, Texas Tech at Texas Tech, going out to Lubbock. So Texas Tech started out the season last year. Uh, not doing very well, right? They had quite a few losses at the beginning of the season, turned it on at the end, you know, and, and were a much better team. Um, Joey McGuire is doing a great job of recruiting down there. They've got some more talented roster. Um, I think they got the momentum now after last season. I think they're going to beat you. I think I have to give Texas Tech a, a win there. Uh, then you got a bye week, and you come back on October 5th um, for uh, Kansas in your. You know, now you get them at home. That's a good thing. But Kansas is such a great team. And Lance Labpole has done such an amazing job with that program there. Um, I, I, it's not necessarily that they have more talent right now on the rosters. I think they do have a little bit more talent than you. But overall talent, probably uh, pretty similar. Uh, but Lance Labpole is doing much better recruiting now. So uh, they're, getting, they're getting more talent in there. But they got more experience. And they got they got a better coach right now, so I'm going to have to go um, with Kansas on the on the win there. So so far, I've only got you the one win. Uh, then 
you know, Utah, I don't know if anybody's going to beat Utah in the Big 12 this year. And Arizona State, I'm sorry, I don't think you're going to beat Utah. Um, can, can Arizona State surprise everybody and come out and just have a fantastic year? Absolutely. A great example of that was last year with my team, West Virginia, right? We were picked to finish 14th in the conference, which was dead last in, in the Big 12. And we finished fourth in the conference with nine nine wins. Uh, you know, we, we fooled everybody. Now, didn't fool me. I had I had West Virginia win an eight. I had I had them going eight and four. Uh, they went nine and four. They did go eight and four in a regular season and won their bowl game. So I was pretty spot on with my prediction. Uh, but they did lose one game, Houston, that I had them win, and I had them win in the game, but they or losing the game, but they actually won. So um, Utah. Though, yeah, Utah's too good for you. I have to give you a loss there. October 19th, uh, at Cincinnati. Traveling out to Cincinnati. Cincinnati's a, not a tough place to play, but Cincinnati seems to do better on, uh, at home than they do on the road. Um, I just look at the last several years, and you'll see Cincinnati's a pretty good home team. This one's a toss-up for me because Cincinnati's just not got the talent that they had before. And they don't have the coach they had before, that's for sure. So I'm going to give you a victory there, Arizona State. I'm going I'm I'm to say you win that game uh, at Cincinnati this year. Now, how about Oklahoma State? You're going on the road to Stillwater. Never a fun place to play. Never a good good time to go to Stillwater uh, when, you, when you're a team that's struggling. And as of right now, you're struggling. And as of this point in the season, if this uh, what I'm saying stands true, you're still struggling. Uh, you're going to lose in Stillwater, um, I'm sorry to tell you. All right, next week, uh, versus UCF. So you get UCF at home. You don't have to go to the bounce house. That's always a positive. Uh, but UCF better program right now. UCF gets a better program in Arizona State uh, in football. Uh, so I'm going to have to give you another loss there. How about Kansas State? Look, there's, you're not going to beat Kansas State, especially in Manhattan. You wouldn't beat them if you had them at home. Kansas State's far too good of a team. This year, uh, just like Utah, I have a feeling Kansas State and Utah will be playing for the uh, Big 12 Championship. Um, I could see a surprise team like uh, Oklahoma State or West Virginia getting in there. But right now, Kansas State and Utah are the front runners. You're not beating Kansas State in Manhattan, I do not think. All right, how about the November 23rd? Uh, BYU. Now, you do get BYU at home. BYU is a bunch of grown men. They've all been on missions. They're all back. They're 23, 24 years old. Uh, they're not as quick and nimble as 18 and 19 year olds like, like you have on your team, but they are bigger, physical, more, and, and a lot stronger. So that's going to be a tough one for you. But you get them at home, so I'm going to give you a victory over BYU. How about that? I've got you beating BYU. But then the next week, uh, Arizona, no. Uh, you're not going to beat Arizona. Arizona's got far too much talent. Um, so. You know, you're traveling to their house, though. It, what does that mean? Probably not much since it's in the state of Arizona. But still yet, it, it is a robbery game. Anything can happen. So I'll give you a chance to beat Arizona. But I'm going to have to take Arizona here. So as you see, I just don't have you winning a lot. I just I just don't. I, I've got you beating BYU. Uh, I, I've got you beating Cincinnati. And I've got you beating Texas uh, State. So I've got you three victories. Um, I think that's, I think let's three and nine. I'm gonna tell you what I think your ceiling and your floor is. Here, here's your floor. You can lose to Cincinnati and you can lose to BYU. I think your floor is one win. I think you, I think you'll beat Texas State. I think that's your floor. Your ceiling, I think, is 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 four wins. I really do. I don't see you beating anybody on this schedule. It's a really tough schedule to start. With, right? You're playing some of the best teams in the Big Twelve. You've got to face Kansas, Utah, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, and Arizona. So, you know, that, that that's five of the best teams in the Big 12. And a lot of people, that's a lot of people's top five in the Big 12. So, yeah, you're, you don't have a favorable schedule here. And and, the, and I, I just, I'm sorry. I think your ceiling is going to be uh, four wins. Your floor is going to be one. But I'm going to give you three in, in, in this video. Hey, let me know what you think down in the comments section. Tell me what you agree with, what you don't agree with. Uh, we really appreciate everybody watching our videos and tuning in. 